Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to the video. Today I have a tutorial for my favourite piece of redstone that does currently exist in Minecraft console, and perhaps the most impressive piece of redstone that you will be able to do for the next year or so, because it is essentially a redstone teleporter. It's a translocator, it uses a certain bug in 1.9, which allows you to go very, you know, high up, very fast, or on a very low budget, and realistically it can be a combination of both. And uh, yeah, today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do that, it's amazing, but it will be patched out within a year, so make sure you make the most of this while it does still exist, because it is a really powerful tool for getting hype for your Elite Show, or just for going up a really tall building or something like that. So yeah, hopefully you do enjoy today's redstone tutorial. I don't do many of these on my channel, but if you do all like it, like it and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do enjoy these sorts of videos and want to perhaps see more of them in future. But with that said, let's get straight into it, really, shall we? And let's start by explaining this little bug because you might have seen it before, but it's a again, it's a really, really simple one to do with the piston head. Because if the piston head uh, extends into the block that you're in, when it pulls upwards, it pulls you up with it, and it means that you go onto the block above the piston, which essentially means you can climb three blocks in the space of less than a second. Just like this, you can see piston head goes up. Up, it extends into me, I look like this, and then suddenly it drags me up to the next block. It's a, you know, again, it's a relatively simple bug, but you can use this in some really, really powerful ways. So let's first of all talk about the really budget use for it, because just in five seconds, you can climb a, you know, a tower like this, because, you know, it takes about a second to button press. So five, one of those, and suddenly we're on top of a 16 block high thing, which means if we wanted to use it for a leech height, we could go some really good distance. But as well, uh, so yeah, this is this is just the kind of basic form fit though, because bear in mind, this is the budget version of the build. All you need is buttons and you need pistons. That's literally it. You just place a piston down like this, have a button next to it, and suddenly you've got a, uh, you know, a redstone translocating machine. So, however, you know, for a lot of people, this isn't quite fast enough, or this isn't quite efficient enough, or it's not pretty enough, whatever it is, because all this is, is, you know, the very basic version. If you want to do that, then uh, there's a lot of different designs you can use, but I looked at, you know, I looked at a whole bunch of them, and I found the most efficient design you can des uh, use, because it takes just six blocks, a two by three area, but it can take you up this fast. So, bear in mind, this is about a tenth of the time as it was before. Uh, you know, we can do two of these in less than, like, a quarter of a second, and it means if you wanted to climb, let's say, a hundred blocks, you could do that in a matter of seconds. You could go to your world height again in like less than half a minute, and that is some crazy stuff about this redstone translocator, or again, it's the closest thing we have to a teleport machine that does currently exist. So let me show you how to build this because it is pretty darn powerful, and like uh, you can probably you know work it out just from this. But in case you want to see it being built, because that's how yeah yeah functionally work, uh, let's show you that right now. So yeah, we want to start uh, start with because we're going to start from here and just kind of build upwards. We could do it from scratch, but you know should we do it from scratch? Let's do it from scratch next. Though. Just just in case that uh, make it a little bit easier. So you want to have a uh, you know your kind of starting block. We'll mark that with a, uh, you know, uh, again, by the way, this is our block of choice, uh, you know, the smooth sandstone. You can use any block you want to. I like to use sandstone because it makes redstone sharp nicely. So you have this be your standing point, you know, the first place you start. And then two blocks in front of you, you want to have a button on it and then a redstone on the top. So the red, uh, the button activates the redstone. Then you want to have a sticky piston facing up next to that. Uh, and then you'd have a smooth sandstone on both sides of the sticky piston. And then next to where you started, you want to have a block, two uh, blue blocks up like that. And then you might also want to place a third one so that if you want to, you can have your piston going down like like this, because obviously it's harder to place it if you don't have the block there. Then remove this uh, second block there, and you can also remove this block if you want to, but for now we won't. Uh, then, and th then we want to do is you want to have a redstone repeater going there, you want to have a single bit of redstone here, and what this does is it abuses the, uh, you know, the, the oh, not abuses, but it uses the, uh, you know, the piston mechanic to make it so that it takes about, you know, 1 point, uh, 0 0.11 second to get you going up and going to the next level, which means that when you repeat this and you have that there, it does that too. So just one more time, or a, a few more times, just to really, you know, drill this into your head, because it's the sort of thing that, you know, it's kind of hard until you suddenly get it, where you have a, a button, redstone, then it's sticky piston, then it's block surrounding sticky piston, or on both sides, I should say, uh, just like that and that. And then we have the two high tower over here, so just like that. Uh, then, again, we, we're going to place a block there. We use dirt just to show that you don't have to use anything. Uh, place that down, and then you have to go remove all these other blocks, which is a little bit easier if you have, like, a, <laughs> a block in place to make that easier. So for now, we'll just put a block uh, over, like... I guess uh, this is going to be kind of tricky, actually. Uh, we have to just place a block, like, over there for now, let's just say, and also remove that one there, uh, just so we can go off and do this, because you want to then remove the block and place a redstone on top of it. So just like that. Then have a redstone repeater over here, and boom, we've got our second leg going. It literally takes this long. What was that? Like, even with my big mistake, that was about 30 seconds, and that means that you can just do this over and over and over again, and you can have your entire elevator built in a matter of, like, you know, you can get up there pretty fast, even to build the elevator. So, again, one more time, so... Because, uh, you know, every, 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 for me at least, it took like two or three like cycles to build it before it was just entirely ingrained in my head. We've got redstone over there. We've got a sticky piston over here facing upwards. Again, key part of that. Then blocks over to here. Second block up like that. Uh, then we can actually, you know, let's just place a block like that so we can remove this right now. Remove these two blocks. Place the redstone on top of it. Have a, uh, you know, a repeater be over there. And then finally finish up like that. And again, it's going to work one more time. And we can go up to the next layer. So then we want to have a piston be just below there. You also want to remove the block above the piston, though 
because again if, if there's a block above there it won't probably work and then suddenly just like that we can go up to the next floor and so on and so forth i'm sure you can all understand how this is going i think i made a very slight mistake there because that's stuck in the air but you get the point uh it, this is all going to go and happen very 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 fast just like that so yeah this is how you make the machine uh I, I can do like a few more layers while flying but i think you all understand the very basics you can use this to go very very insanely fast you again because you're zipping up at like 0.11 seconds which means that you can do a matter of like 30 blocks per second or the whole sky high in potentially less than 10 seconds which is really crazy if you do ask me so yeah this is a uh, you know a kind of a build guide and how to do it if you want a bit more more efficient because using diamonds or something because you can use any block you want to then you can remove this uh, little corner block over here but again it's not necessary and you might like it there and also if you want to you know make this look more like a real elevator you can surround the entire thing with sandstone again i personally i i wasn't a big fan of the way it looked but you can you can kind of surround the thing and make that work or have a big uh, you know kind of box area well however you want to make your teleporter translocating machine works that's how you can do that so yeah this was a uh, relatively simple redstone guide i hope you did all enjoy it let me know if you do want to see more of these on my channel because uh, i i really love the simple redstone that you can do in survival i've never been a big fan of like creative redstone because that's like a big uh, segment but the sort of stuff that you can just do really easily get like six ingredients together and make something powerful it's stuff i love and i will continue to show off but yeah uh, keep in mind this will be patched in the uh, at some point this year for minecraft console probably uh, I, I hope it won't but it probably will be uh, so yeah just uh, get the most of it while you can because it's pretty darn great anyway hope you did enjoy this video like if you liked it share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here because i make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if you subscribe you'll see them daily on your homepage. thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you all next time goodbye Thank you.